Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Dapper Diary. I've owned many backpacks throughout my life, some that were very cheap, some with a lot nicer materials, and this is definitely the latter. If you are in the market for a backpack, you might want something that's rugged, but you don't want to go over the top. You don't want people to think that you're going to go on a trip with Indiana Jones. You want something that is rugged, but minimalist, something that blends form and function. Let me introduce to you the Filson Journeyman Backpack. Stay tuned. So a little bit about the Filson company. Filson's a very old company with a very rich history. I won't go into everything today. But Filson was started in the 1890s in the city of Seattle. Now at the time, logging was a very big industry in the Pacific Northwest. And Filson, being the apparel company at the time, they designed clothes specifically for the climate of the Pacific Northwest. Pretty cold, very wet, very damp. For the longest of times, all the Filson stuff were made in the US. However, as companies tend to do, they started to manufacture outside of the US, places like Bangladesh, Vietnam, and China. Although I think a lot of their stuff has dropped in quality and increased in price, I think that a lot of their stuff are still very high quality and definitely worth your money. So now let's take a closer look at this amazing backpack I have here. Alrighty, one of the things that Filson is very well known for, other than their Mackinac wool, is their tin cloth. Tin cloth is their version of a waxed canvas. All waxed canvas is, is cotton canvas that has been impregnated with some sort of a wax or oil. What are the, some of the benefits of waxed canvas? Well, it makes your cotton canvas a lot more durable than it would be without the wax. And also, it, gave, it provides the material with amazing water resistance that most bags made with nylon and other canvases can only dream of. Another benefit of this waxed canvas is their ability to patina. It will look better as it gets older and gets more use rather than other materials that would look sloppy and worn out. This gets better with age. And this quality is very attractive to people who are into this heritage apparel. So about this bag, this bag has a 23 liter capacity and the bag is fully lined with some sort of a polyester cotton blend. It has two main compartments. It has the external small pocket that has a snap closure. And a good thing about this external pocket is that they have these gussets along the side that close and open with a button, which means you can expand the outside pocket to shove a little bit more stuff in there. And as you can see, it does actually increase in volume a lot. Now within this external pocket, you're gonna have one wider sleeve that you can shove anything you want. And then you're gonna have two little pen pockets that you can stick your favorite writing utensils in. Inside the bag, you're gonna find a padded laptop sleeve that is big enough for a 15 inch laptop. And then you're gonna have two small pockets, one with a heavy duty brass zipper that is pretty deep. You can put quite a bit of stuff in there. And then you're gonna have a simple dump pouch that you can put anything else. And then of course, you're gonna have the rest of the main compartment that you can put all your little goodies in. For some other details, you're gonna have heavy duty brass zippers across the entirety of the bag. All the leather that you see from the leather pull tabs on the zippers to the straps on the actual bag and also the carry handle and snap closure are all made of English bridal leather from the tannery Wicked and Craig. Wicked and Craig is a very famous leather tannery and they make some very nice leather. On the back you're going to have an unwaxed finish that is made of a twill material that is also padded to protect your laptop. And the fact that this is unwaxed, I really like because I don't, you don't really want the oil finish or the wax on your bag to come in contact with the clothes that you are wearing. For the actual straps, you're gonna have the same wax cotton, wax canvas on the outside, but on the un underside, you are going to have a very soft, very plush moleskin lining. And of course, this part of the strap is made with that English bridal leather from Wicked and Craig. It is completely adjustable with the heavy duty brass buckles. Up at the front, you're gonna have the storm flap that can completely cover the zippers so that rain doesn't leak through the teeth of the zippers. 
And then you're also gonna have this little leather tab that can snap closed to, pro to give you some extra security. One thing I have to say is that in my experience, this storm flap and this snap closure, although it does provide you with extra security, on a day-to-day -day basis, if you are opening and closing this bag a lot, it can get in the way. When you open the zipper, this tab will always stop your zipper from actually opening all the way. So you have to flip it back and then open the rest of the zipper. And although it doesn't seem like a big thing, if you are opening and closing your bag all the time, say example, you are a college student going from classes to classes, it's gonna get a little bit frustrating because you have to flip that tab all the time. So that's just one note. Overall, I think that this bag is very high quality and for $395, I think that it is pretty well priced compared to most other waxed canvas bags. To the average Joe, $395 for a backpack is absolutely ridiculous. I get it. However, most bags you're going to find on the market are going to be made with really cheap materials that will just look worse and worse the more you use it. The Filson Journeyman backpack, however, is really going to get better over time. It's going to be a piece that you can use for probably 10, 20 years, and it's just going to get better with age. So I think the $395 is actually not too bad in the long run. So I think that the Filson Journeyman backpack is worth it. And that's going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. That would really help my small channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I will answer them as soon as I can. I'll see you guys around next time. Stay dapper.